Have a great day. Our devotion for today is about Is your family perfect? No one is perfect, so it's not surprising that things go wrong in families. In Genesis 25, 29-34 One day, when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau arrived home from the wilderness, exhausted and hungry. 30. Esau said to Jacob, I'm starved. Give me some of that red stew. This is how Esau got his other name, Edom, which means red. 31. All right, Jacob replied, but trade me your rights as the firstborn son. 32. Look, I'm dying of starvation, said Esau. What good is my birthright to me now? 33. But Jacob said, First, you must swear that your birthright is mine. So Esau swore an oath thereby selling all his rights as the firstborn to his brother Jacob. 34. Then Jacob gave Esau some bread and lentils too. Esau ate the meal, then got up and left. He showed contempt for his rights as the firstborn. Esau returned to his father's tents one day, hot and tired and hungry. He followed the spicy smell to Jacob and the lentil stew he was cooking. Mmm, that smells delicious, Esau said. I'm so hungry I could die. Jacob was quiet, but he was clever. He kept stirring the stew. You can have some now, he replied, as long as you will trade it for father's blessing. They both knew that only the older son was allowed that special blessing given before their father died. Jacob had never felt that was fair. You can have anything you like if I can eat that stew, replied Esau. So Esau sold his birthright to Jacob and didn't seem to care. A birthright was a special honor given to the firstborn son. It included a double portion of the family inheritance along with the honor of one day becoming the family's leader. The oldest son could sell his birthright or give it away if he chose, but in so doing, he would lose both material goods and his leadership position by trading his birthright. Esau showed complete disregard for the spiritual blessings that would have come his way if he had kept it. In effect, Esau despised his birthright. Esau traded the lasting benefits of his birthright for the immediate pleasure of food. He acted on impulse, satisfying his immediate desires without posing to consider the long-range consequences of what he was about to do. We can fall into the same trap. When we see something we want, our first impulse is to get it. At first, we feel intensely satisfied and sometimes even powerful because we have obtained what we set out to get. But immediate pleasure often loses sight of the future. We can avoid making Esau's mistake by comparing the short-term satisfaction with its long-range consequences before we act. Esau exaggerated his hunger. I am about to die, he said. This thought 
made his choice much easier because if he was starving, what good was an inheritance anyway? The pressure of the moment distorted his perspective and made his decision seem urgent. We often experience similar pressures, for example, when we feel sexual pressure, a marriage vow may seem unimportant. We might feel such great pressure in one area that nothing else seems to matter, and we lose our perspective. Getting through that short, pressure-filled moment is often the most difficult part of overcoming a temptation. Let us pray. Holy and mighty God, thank you for this day. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have done in our daily lives. Thank you for the blessings, for the problems that help us to grow spiritually. Father God, this day, help us not to let small problems become bigger problems in our family, but to talk things through together. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.